Good evening one and all and welcome to the video. This is lab number 6 getting started series with AWS, Lambda and serverless. Tutorial number 6 is essentially about Lambda destination with serverless framework. What are we trying to do? Essentially destinations are the ability for asynchronous Lambda invocation to have their execution results sent to other AWS services without needing to wait for the Lambda execution to finish. Previously, you would have to wait for a Lambda success or a failure or need to leverage something like a step function. Now you can invoke the function asynchronously and send the results of the invocation to the different places depending upon success and failure. A critical point where you are developing an async um, pattern, right, and you wanna essentially send your Lambda results on success or failure to a queue, or if you wanna invoke a different business logic based on whatever your logic is, right? So that's the use case, um, uh, let's uh, uh, understand this, okay? So the code is there on the lab six, and uh, I would be showing you the YML file. I try to make, you know, things extremely easy. So the first thing we have here is service name. We're just giving it a name, event bus lambda. Do give whatever you like. Framework version as three provider we are using for AWS and runtime as Python. Uh, this one says that I have, I'm gonna collapse this. This is the name of my uh, lambda function, hello. Handler means invoke, of, there's a file called handler and there inside the handler there's a file called hello. So invoke the file that. So it's gonna go to the, handler and then the hello okay so it's going to invoke that destination means hey on 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 success when the lambda succeed what do i want to do well i want to um, you know i want to call my success handler on fa failure i want to call the failure handler now each success handler invokes a lambda so as you can see success dot success handler failure invokes a failure lambda we have a file call and i will zoom in here to show you uh, as you can see, we have a file called fail and success, right? Each one will be invoking uh, uh, the respective stuff. So in the fail, we'll have you know item I am fail, and if a success is invoked, we'll we'll get a something called I am pass. So for this example, I'm gonna say I'm gonna purposely, as I said, I'm gonna purposely let it fail, right? I'm I'm creating an exception, and this should invoke my fail lambda logic, okay? So hopefully uh, after that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to deploy my stack. And as you all know, the magic word is uh, serverless deploy. I use the word serverless deploy and this would uh, deploy my stack. Let's be patient here. So the stack has been deployed, okay? So now it's you know uploading the cloud formation stack and now it's gonna deploy my stack, okay? So let's be patient here. Uh, gotta change the camera angle a bit. Okay, that's fine. Uh, usually this takes about a minute or two, so um, let's be a little patient here and uh, wait for this to finish, okay? Couple of more minutes, I think it has to go through 10 steps. Uh, so let's wait, it's updating the cloud formation stack. Uh, it's on step six now. All right, uh, has been deployed. Now let's see what we get on the AWS console. So if I go to function, you'll see three functions have been added. Event bus, lambda, dev, success handler, failure handler, and the normal function. So when you invoke your function asynchronously, right? So if you go to this one, and if I go to um, configuration, if I go to destination, as you can see, these have been added. Now I have a file that I'm gonna show you for this example. I'm using a sample to fire up my lambda. As you can see, event bus dev lambda, I'm gonna fire this up. Remember, as we know, the fail condition should be invoked. Automatically, the fail lambda has to be invoked. So let's fire this lambda asynchronously. As you can see, I'm gonna do a second fire asynchronously. Yeah, so let's wait, we got the request ID. Now, I'm simply gonna uh, go to my functions and I'm gonna go to the fail handler and I, sh I don't have messages, but when I go to monitor, I should see some failed events coming in. So if I click on monitor, and if I start the logs in the CloudWatch, I should see essentially two logs, uh, at least two logs, I should see that. So it's, it's loading. Uh, I don't have logs yet, so I would be waiting here for those logs, right? So let me, 
let me go to the main function and then try to invoke that again and uh, making sure that the changes were deployed so if i go to handler yeah we do have a raise exception here uh, there is a code typo i think i forgot the word exception <laughs> but it's fine i can add it here So I'm gonna go back to my handler and clearly I forgot the word exception while writing this. It's fine, it's, it's totally fine. We'll click on deploy here, manually deploying it for now for just for showing you purposes. Uh, we go to function, then let's um, fire this function two more times. So I'm gonna call, I'm calling the invoke async method in Boto3. This should call the functions, right? And I'm expecting the function to fail, right, at this point. So it's an async, so you have to wait. And um, shortly, um, I have to refresh my screen for a couple of times and now I, I see a failed event here in the failure. So I'm gonna click on this and I'll show you, uh, as you can see here, uh, since the Lambda failed, uh, I should be seeing this message. Uh, as you can see, sawmill failed, right? So we raised to the exception in the code purposely and now the uh, failed event handler has been invoked. So I really hope you have enjoyed this tutorial on um, Lambda destinations and a serverless framework. Hope you have enjoyed it. And if you have any more questions, let me know your question in the comment section and I'll be very happy to help you out. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Keep smiling, keep programming. See you guys.